Welcome everyone to the Can Do Sports Show. We got our special Super Bowl edition, and we got your host here, Don Ray Bennett, and yours truly, Scott Blair. We got a little different format for today. We're going to do a quick episode, but we're going to start with a little bit of an around the horn, tip of the cap to one of our favorite ESPN shows, and then we're going to give you some Super Bowl picks. So to kick things off, I'm going to pass the microphone over to my man, Don Ray Bennett. I want to keep mine. Hello, everyone. First and foremost, happy Super Bowl Sunday. I want to keep mine short. Um, and sweet and in and, and my hometown bias and give a nod of the hat to Tyrese Maxey. That young man um, stepped up to end a four game slide, injured and put up his second 50 point performance of the year. He's only 23. That puts him up with your AIs, your Wilts. He's done something. He's so far ahead where, he, where he's at. And it's all thanks to his work ethic. Everyone will tell you, Literally, that, that old adage of, oh, you got to lock him out the gym. That literally happened to him. They literally had to force him out of the, the practice facility last year, and uh, his hard work has paid off. So I just want to nod my head, nod my, my hat, tip my hat to him. Um, and, and a lot of trade thing, a lot of trades happen around the deadline. Sixers, I'm, I love get, bringing the home guy, Lowry, back. I'm not sure if overall we've, we've improved enough to do anything, but um, – at the end of the day, if, if Embiid isn't healthy, it won't matter much anyway. So I'm glad to see Lowry back home. Um, Lowry back home. I'm glad um, Maxi has demonstrated that he deserved that all-star nod that he got. And um, that's it for me. That's it. How about you? I've got some basketball shout outs too. I'm hoping people can be patient with Milwaukee and with Doc Rivers. I know we talked about that during the last episode. We'll see. Listen, I've got a I've got a little testimonial. I've got a little confession to make. Okay. Everyone knows that I have, I get in my feelings a little bit about Philadelphia sports. Um, I'm in my feelings with how the bulls are being managed. And I say that because I've grown a little bit of love for the Sixers. So I'm hoping that Embiid uh, gets himself healthy. I love the Kyle Lowry pickup. Love it. And yeah, I got a little, got a little Sixers fandom in me, just a little bit. I still got okay. my. Come on over, come on over. Either red, black, and white, but I, I got a little love. I got a little love for the Sixers, so I'm just giving them a little shout out here today. Just going to reflect on what you said, and um, I am just amazed with the women's women's basketball game right now. Today was a amazing day south carolina dominated yukon i know yukon is you know they, they've lost so many players to injury this year so it's kind of tough for them <laughs> um nebraska with the upset beating iowa a uh, big home win for them caitlin clark is eight points away from surpassing kelsey plum and she's like 170 points something in change away from breaking pete maravich's record mm. so just keep an eye out on Caitlin Clark, again, salute to her, just doing it, just just amazing. LSU's out there doing what they're doing. But I want to do one last shout-out. And I purposely said LSU a moment ago for a reason. I am so glad that Baylor is finally retiring Brittany Griner's jersey. The reason mm. it took this large part to do with the former coach of Baylor, who's currently at LSU, um, it's really unfortunate. Um that that is what it is, but I'm glad that Brittany's finally getting her her sunshine from Baylor. It's going to be a beautiful thing. So, good stuff. Long overdue, but yes, absolutely. All right. Well, good good, good spotlight there. Um, let's get down to hold what – Hold up. Hold up. Word has it. Taylor Swift is in Vegas. Taylor okay. Swift Phew. Is... Oof, I was worried, but we're good to go now. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not a hater of it. I'm I'm not a hater of the fandom. I, I could, you know, I don't I don't see how it really affects anyone. But I know a yeah. lot of people who are up in arms about the attention it's getting. And to their credit, most of the folks who I know are at least upset with media, not with her. So if you're going to be upset, at least don't be upset with her. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, what's it? I mean, does it? A total of what 10 20 seconds over the course of a game like what are you going to be looking at anyway just some other yeah. celebrity that has nothing to do with the game as well like come on who cares he's bringing millions of new fans to the game why yes. why would you so yep great exactly equal so, to... hmm? 
Eagles going to Brazil, right, to kick off the season. We didn't talk about that. <laughs> Shh, my family watches this. They can't they can't know <laughs> what I'm plotting. Um, yes, sir. They're going. They don't have uh the the uh, opponent, it hasn't been stated yet. I know the Dolphins will also be there. So if it comes out that it's Eagles Dolphins, it, you know B Web's gonna we, we might have to make something out of it. Yeah. I think that the Bears are going to London. I think we're gonna have to go international here this season. So mm. it's gonna be take- Take the show on the road. We can take the show on the road, write it off, right? (laughs) So, um, all right, well, let's get to the bread and butter. It's almost kickoff. We're we're not too far away. We want to make sure this gets out there in time. So I've been hearing things. Oh, you put your your episode out after the game. You could have easily. Look, we're not switching anything up. You can see the clock behind me. All right. 535 Eastern Standard Time. And we're coming to you. Hall of Fame coach Blair. Who do you got for for the big game, the big Super Bowl matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers representing the NFC. I'm taking one. I'm taking the over. I think this is going to be a high-scoring game. I know the Chiefs' defense has really been showing up, but San Francisco's offense is just a, as long as everyone's healthy. We don't. We only know what we know. But with Debo in the lineup, with Christian McCaffrey, hopefully his shoulder, his neck from the game is okay. I've got the Niners, and I've got the over. I think it's going to be a little bit of a shootout. I think there's going to be forward um, in the second quarter. I think there's going to be a little breakout, and I think at the end of the third, early fourth, and then I think the defenses are going to clamp down, and we're going to have some stops at the end. And I think San Francisco, and uh, they're going to they're going to come away with the win, big win, big win for Coach Shanahan. What wow. you got? Here. It- are you Swifty Nation? Are you? I am too. I'm Here's Nation. the thing. I know. I have a feeling. I know what's going to happen. I'm going for Kansas City. But if I took all feeling aside, I'd be picking San Fran. It's just what's pr- bound to happen with Tooney or, or whatever the left guard, the, the lineman being out now for Kansas City. It's it's just like Tampa all over again. Um, that's what it's lining up to be. Now, having said that, Kansas City's defense is stout. They are oh, stout. And, and well, San Fran has got – look, I'm not a, a Purdy hater, okay? He's good enough. And there's no other quarterback – a quarterback at this point in the season, no matter how great a quarterback is, you can't be in a better position than where they are right now, right? So – and on top of that, if you put a Hurts or Lamar Jackson in that offense, well, half the, half the offensive weapons are gone because of their contract. So at the end of the day, I'm not mad at Purdy at all. I'm not calling him a manager. I'm not calling – He's gotten his team where he needs to go. Having said that, if not for lackluster defensive play and just simply bonehead dropping balls, balls off the helmet between the Packers and Detroit, they wouldn't even be in this game right now. I can't see Kansas City sure. losing, dropping, you know, handover picks. Now, do I think Purdy's going to give them handover picks? No, which is why I think Sanford may end up pulling this thing out. But I'm going for, for Kansas City, and I'm not going to utter the words um, Niners. So, Go Chiefs Nation. Go read. Get your get your third. Mahomes, put yourself in that upper echelon. Um, and Swifties, you're gonna rejoice this tonight. Um, get your 87 jerseys out. Um, going with the Chiefs on this one. I don't think it's gonna be um a high scoring affair, although most Super Bowls are. I, I think it's gonna be something like a 2017, 2013 um, you know, slug fest type deal. Um, so I'll go with you know, I, I guess I'll go 24-20. Um, okay. I, I don't think San Fran's going to move the ball easily. But I do trust the two coaches. You know what? If it is a high-scoring affair, I'm going to give all credit to the coaches because between Shanahan and um, Reed, they can definitely dial up some things and some adjustments midway to get points on the board. But I still think it's it's 24-20, Chiefs. Um, and uh, that's that's how I'm calling it. It's more what I'm hoping than what I think, but I'm going to stick with that. I just, I, I'm okay with that. Okay. Yeah. I'm thinking like a 31 to 24, 34. Mm-hmm. 20, and I think it's, yeah. So we'll see. It's going to be a good game though. I yes. think we're going to have. A- I agree. I agree. I hope it's not. I hope the chiefs run away with that. I hope it's 49, nothing at the half. Uh, but yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. These two teams are, are too well coached to really, uh, get blown out unless of course you're Detroit and what you were doing that and decided to 
play old silly games. But I digress. Damn. All right, let's end with one more thing. Let's sure. usher over in the club. It's got to be oh oh uh oh, uh oh, oh. because that that the when that that one that beat drop. Which one has the best beat drop? Yeah, he's gonna bring out Ludacris for that first song. You think? Well, maybe that'd be interesting. That's a good call. So, what are you going with? You're going with the in I want yeah or with uh, in the club. He might come out with something slow. You think so? Nice and slow. I, no, I wouldn't. I would come out with a banger with a beat with a bass drop. Yeah. But he's also so, with all the the Swifty eyes on there and all the 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 diverse. Well, it doesn't matter if Swifty's in it or not. It's going to have a diverse watching. I mean, the entire the entire world. So I think it, her, uh, that would be her up? that would be crazy. No, I guess I'll I'll go with uh I'll go with um. I'll 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 take a wild card. I'll take a long shot. I'll go with burn. No good reason. Good. I don't have a good reason for it. I'm just going to I'm just going to go with that one just because it'll allow him to walk out slowly without catching a cramp and allow him to get warmed up into it. So no reason. Just going to go with burn. Love it. Love it. Love it. Well, our people, thanks for jumping on this episode. Enjoy the game. Be safe tonight. And then before we know it, we're going to be talking baseball. Absolutely. So. All right. We'll talk next time. We got a, the whole trade de trade deadline to go around and talk about who winners, losers, the whole nine. But until then, and we will be soon, a couple of days turn around, we'll get right back on the mic and recap this Super Bowl, um, NBA trade deadline, pitchers, catchers coming up, NHLs get into their break as well, all the all star break uh, fanatics. Um, and so we'll catch you on the flip side. Sounds good. Bears don't trade fields. Peace. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>